horses say? May or may not be going up against the Miami Heat. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Um, I asked a question, I posed a simple question. I said so at the beginning because it truly, and this pains me to say, it doesn't matter. <gasps> it doesn't matter. We could have gone against Tomb Squad. It didn't matter. <gasps> you know, we're moving differently this year, so. Really, the competition, the competition really doesn't phase me. Um, it really doesn't matter whether it was, you know, Bam Adebayo, Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, Campbell Walker. It's just all names to me at this point. We already have won the NBA Finals. This is the Laker Prophet telling you right now, Barring any major injuries, God forbid, I don't want anybody on any team getting any injuries. That just always ruins everything. The Lakers have already won the finals. I've been trying to tell you guys this since the beginning of the, the season. Everybody laughed at me and we're getting closer and people are starting to believe now. Laker Prophet has got some, some, some supporters. I see it, but all the same, there are some people that are starting to not even just doubt, but just hate on the inevitable. It's inevitable at this point. Your favorite team cannot do anything about that. Your favorite player cannot do anything about that. And so I just really came on here to tell you that. I don't really have anything to discuss. Wow. You know, I just just came on here to bid you all a good farewell. It's been a good bubble. Guys, guys, it's been a fun bubble. You guys tried your best. It's just the lot that you've been dealt is the Lakers. Um, as far as the Celtics are concerned, I tried to help you. I tried to put the Laker profit mumbo jumbo behind you, and I think what I actually did on accident, I promise, I promise this was an accident, guys. I think when I backed you, I might have cursed you. <laughs> I might have accidentally cursed him. Just because, you know, Lakers and Celtics were such rivals and I truly wanted us to face them in the finals. Not because they're the better team. I mean, really, tonight proved that they didn't even try tonight. They didn't. They weren't trying. I hate to say it. But it's just the rivalry, you know, the storyline. Lakers beat the Celtics in the finals, man. That was just the most iconic finals that I was ever able to witness and I loved it. So I just kind of wanted a little rematch if we could. Uh, once again, our rivals never really play up to the competition as they're supposed to, you know, so they can never actually meet us. We do what we're supposed to do when we get there. We're waiting for them to arrive and they never arrive because they lose, but uh... Yeah, I think I accidentally cursed them, so I'm sorry. Uh, and also, I'm not sorry because this is just poetic, you know, neither of our rivals, quote unquote, and, and, and I'm kind of forcing the rivalry because I think I'm still the only person alive that still like wants the Celtics rivalry to be a thing, right? It's not really a thing right now, let's be honest. Like a lot of y'all forgot about it and a lot of the Laker fans right now are solely LeBron fans. So it kind of sucks because it's like, dang, our whole fan base, we used to really unite and rally against these teams. But now it's just the LeBron, like if he were to leave to the Nets tomorrow, they gone. They don't care about the Celtics anymore. Loyal Laker fans, we still do, you know what I mean? So it used to be real strong back then and then we fell off. They kind of kept going a little bit, but we, we fell off and then we're back now, but now the rivalry isn't there. The players aren't really taking the rivalry serious. I don't like that. But anyway, regardless, they're not here anymore. Cancun on three, one, two, three, Cancun. They're gone. But anyways, um, as far as the heat go, I have nothing to say. Uh, I love the players, you know what I mean? Tyler Hero, the cool swagalicious kid um, doing his thing. We got Jimmy Butler, not even really redemption, but it's just, you know, the critics that talked about his behavioral issues that they kind of made up and now he's a good teammate, I guess. And so they're like making this a redemption story because they messed up. It's like, you were the one calling him a bad teammate and now it's like his redemption narrative. It's like, no, you created it. You said he was a bad teammate. You said that, you were wrong. He's actually a good teammate and you're just correcting your mistake and now 
it's the redemption tour. It's like you you manufacture that. But I won't call you out. Also, you know, Bam and Bio, they got Andre Udalo over there. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting matchup. I just I'm obligated to say that, but let's be honest. I already have the trophy here. <gasps> Do you want me to show you? I already have the trophy here. Wow! We won already. And you know what? I, I do realize this before I go. I do realize that most of the people that we're going to be going against as far as the fan base of the Miami Heat, the fan base, it's mainly going to be, um, you know, fans of teams that we've knocked out the bubble disrespectfully. I mean, we five gamed everybody. It was a gentleman's sweep, right? We walked through Portland. Their fans are now Heat fans, honorary. Rockets, they're now honorary Heat fans. Now the Nuggets, they're, everybody's kind of like banding together. Also people that we busted their bracket, they're mad that like they didn't choose us to go to the finals. So they're all, even though they really might not actually hate the Lakers right now, we're like the villain, I guess. So they're all uniting under the heat umbrella. So that's probably what we'll see in the comments right now. So that'll be interesting, you know, just to call you guys out publicly. I do see you. Um, your feelings are valid here. This is a safe space, but it is, sad pathetic but you know we're gonna win regardless you know um uh, also i just kind of like the storyline of you know lebron going back up against the man he like he just won with them then he left one with cleveland then he come here winning like the dude is crazy later we're gonna have to talk about this goat conversation <gasps> i know right i said it we're gonna have to talk about it let's and we're gonna have to get real about it because i mean so things there might be a shifting <gasps> but they might not so we're gonna have to talk about that. But I do like this whole storyline. So if he wins this this year, oh, sick. What did I say if? When? When he wins this. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right? Don't hold back. You know, you can say whatever you need to say. So the, the Celtics, the Heat. <sighs> You're not winning. So like we might as well just just wrap it up i feel like we don't even need to go to the next stage but if you want to if you say so anyway like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below what you thought check out this video if you haven't seen it yet and subscribe to join the splash squad you're about to win that trip <laughs>